I get a lot of questions about what exhaust setup I have in my night gen. So today I'm gonna go over everything and I'm gonna go over why I chose to do it this way. I have the full race catback exhaust paired with the Skunk 2 catless downpipe. And I'm gonna go over different routes that you can take if you have a 9th gen or 8th gen and you want to upgrade your exhaust. But first, let's get a start up. Vivian's with me today, so it should be pretty fun. I am gonna get a clip of Vivian driving too so I can hear from the outside. Vivian's so excited. Before we get some flybys, I wanna talk about this setup. When I bought this car, I knew that I was going to switch out the downpipe for an aftermarket, uh, either catted or catless, and I ended up going catless. There are lots of different options for exhaust systems. You can get something that's, you can get a catback exhaust that's really, really loud, like the Skunk 2 Mega Power RR and the NVIDIA N1. But then you're gonna run into a headache when you go and upgrade your downpipe if that's your plan. Because those exhaust systems, those two that I just said, are very, very loud by themselves. They're probably just as loud as this, maybe even a little bit louder with the stock downpipe. Babe, there's a cop back there. Where? He was at the light, two cars down. We'll be okay. I know a lot of people who get those loud exhaust systems and then they just say that it's a headache and it drones and then they end up going to a quieter exhaust system. So in my opinion, it's better to just stay away from those if you plan on doing a downpipe. Now, if you don't want to touch your downpipe and you don't ever want to tune your car, whatever, I mean, you can still tune your car without getting a downpipe, but then the NVIDIA N1 and the Mega Power RR exhaust would be okay. I mean, you'll get a lot of sound out of it and you're driving will be much more enjoyable, but I wanted to get this tuned and get the most power out of it that I could. Yes, I still have the stock intake manifold, so it would I would obviously make more power if I did E85 with the either the Skunk 2 Ultra intake manifold or the RBC, but it still goes pretty good. So on the quieter side, there are three exhaust systems that I had to choose between. The NVIDIA Q300, which is really, really quiet, it's too quiet. The Full Race, which I have, and then also the K-Tuned. The K-Tuned is a little louder than the Full Race, but I believe they're all three inch systems and I'm really happy with this one. I will say though, if you don't plan on doing the downpipe, the Full Race is it's not really gonna satisfy you. The Full Race was really, really quiet before I got this downpipe. Okay, now, why did I go catless? Well, I went catless because I wanted to kind of full send it. Well, for what it is, I know I don't have the RBC intake manifold, but I wanted to full send the exhaust system and see how much power I could make. And according to Josh Arandia's e-dyno, he goes by Yosh Tuned, I am making 208 wheel horsepower and 183 torque. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some sweet flybys right now. Vivian's outside the car. <laughs> she doesn't like when I make her do this, but it's okay. Here we go, gentlemen and ladies. One problem that we'll talk about now is the infamous hissing sound that you get with some aftermarket downpipes. From what I can tell, it's it's a hit or miss. Some people with catted downpipes have them. Most people with catted downpipes don't. Mostly everyone with a catless downpipe has it. my friend Zuvi. He has a YouTube channel called Zuvi. Uh, I don't really know his real name. Anyway, really nice guy and he has the same Skunk 2 Catless downpipe and he told me all he did was went to AutoZone and got the OEM Honda gaskets and uh, he doesn't have a hiss. Need to get a good second gear pull for the, for the boys and the girls. That 
one sounded good. Ooh. The old guy who was walking on the sidewalk, he's a unit. He doesn't, he doesn't give a crap. When I'm an old man going for my walk, I'm gonna be cheering on the youngsters doing flybys in their electric cars. Ooh, there's a Corvette. So what kind of power are you going to make only with a catback exhaust? Probably not much. I would say five, six horsepower at most. See, it sounds rattly to me. There's like, a, something's loose. It just doesn't quite sound right. This guy is chilling in his C6 Corvette, man. That is beautiful. It's a Grand Sport. Let me ask if he wants to be on my YouTube channel. Hey, do you want to be on my YouTube channel? Oh yeah, what are you doing? Uh, I do car stuff. I have a Type R and I have this. Yeah, uh, what are you trying to do? You want to come out to one of my next group drives? Or where, where? I do reviews, uh, whatever. Yeah, here, uh, hit me up on Instagram, Big Ass V8. Big Ass V8, any underscores? Nah, just Big Ass V8. Okay, I'll reach out to you, man. No See you soon. Big Ass V8, brothers. Hell yeah. This is what I think about Big Ass V8s. Let's do a first gear pull. Aw, oh, dude. Traction is the freaking worst. I talked to that guy in the Corvette and asked him if he wanted to be on the channel. He said yes. Really? I actually made a comment when I saw it and I was like, ooh, that's a nice Corvette. Do you want to do a drive by right here? I just haven't driven stick in a minute. It's okay. They're not gonna judge you, babe. Guys, don't judge Vivian. You can floor it if you want. Uh, give it a little rev. Yeah. Let her rip, babe. God, dude! I guarantee it. I guarantee she's having a. She has a smile on her face right now. She's always. She always like is a little skeptical with coming and filming videos, just because she's she's just a private person. She doesn't she doesn't post a lot on social media. She doesn't want to be on camera a lot. But uh, I always bribe her with cheeseburgers. But every single time she drives one of my cars, she always gets a smile on her face. But I'll tell you what, that sounds really good. I think that's her. Dude, it's so different when you get to see your car from outside when you have someone else driving it. I love it. That K24Z7, even though it has an integrated exhaust manifold, so it doesn't have a traditional header like the older uh, Hondas, these ones get a little more raspy. Oh, I can hear her coming. With this forest exhaust, man, they just, they did a really good job. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. That sounds way different from outside the car, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So what do you think of it? I mean, it is fun driving it, but I think that the there's something loose. There's something loose? I think it's just it an older just, car. No, 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 like it rattles, something rattles. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the downpipe hitting the heat shield, that's all it that is. That was a good shift. Hell yeah, babe. That was good. Oh, she knows. She knows, guys. I'm gonna get you three cheeseburgers now okay. and a milkshake. Ooh, I'll take the milkshake. I'm gonna buy you a present. I want a Neapolitan milkshake. A Neapolitan milkshake. Huh? You know how to get to in and out from here? Go. Downshift to third gear and give her, give her a little rip. Downshift. Oh, there's a turkey. So yeah, downshift. Clutch in, third gear, rev it, clutch out. Rev it. You have to rev it before you... Okay. Alright. 
we're down to two cheeseburgers now. <laughs> it's the end of the world as we know. Dude, I've been singing to Vivian every oh. single night before I go to work. I get this burst Stop. of energy right before I go to work. It's all about the commercials you sing. Oh yeah, so they have this uh, Folgers commercial. Uh, it's like, get a little squirrely there, babe. Squirrel? It goes like, the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. And I'll say, every single time it comes on, I'll sing with it, I'll go. <laughs> the best part of waking up is Folgers in your butt. <laughs> and Vivian thought it was funny the first seven or eight times. And then she got it stuck in her head. And so now every time he sings it, I sing it in my head. And it just doesn't ever come out. Just like the Folgers in your butt. <laughs> babe, 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 this is a good place to give it a good third year pull, just floor it. Oh, babe, right when I went into VTech, you let off. Damn it. <laughs> this is gonna be a PG video. Oh, like, your well, subscribers are gonna think I'm just like a- It's gonna be a PG-13 because of the butt. The butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this would be a good place for a thumbnail. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Yeah, yeah, just pull, just go that way. Oh. I can't go that way. The best part of waking up the... is folders in your butt. Is that reverse? Let's yep. hope so. Okay. Yep. That's perfect. That's literally perfect, babe. Is it? Yep. Are you being sarcastic? Nope. You can shut her off. We're not trespassing. Private property, yeah. Now I can't get the folder song out of my head. Okay, what I wanted to say was my videos are always a lot better when you're with me. Look at all, oh, that, look at these neighborhoods. I so hope that one day we're doing well enough so we can live over here. I'm gonna go buy some Powerball tickets. Oh my God. Okay, guys, one last update. So I called the owner of a 1997, I'll put it on screen here, Mustang Cobra. It's Rio Red, so it looks a lot better than the Laser Red in my opinion. Has 40 something thousand original miles. He's the original owner, it has no modifications. He's an older gentleman, really, really nice guy. Talked to him on the phone for about 30 minutes. Anyway, he told me, he kind of told me a little bit of his life story and I was, I was all for it. I mean, he just seemed like a really cool guy. He told me that one of his co-workers, one of his co-workers' sisters won the Powerball like way back in the day, like one of the very first Powerballs in the 90s, bought her brother a brand new Mustang Cobra. I thought that's that was very interesting. Cool. Isn't that cool? So you know what? I think that's a sign that I should go buy some Powerball tickets. Look at these, look at this neighborhood. Look at that house. Holy oh. crap. That's nuts. I would just love to live in a little neighborhood like this. We could get some mopeds, get a golf cart, and just, just chill out. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. All right, well, that's all I got. I hope you guys like the sound of my exhaust. I really like it. It was it was really, really cool to hear it from outside the car in person because listening to it on video is different. It's always gonna be different. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and make sure you thank Vivian for coming along. And I'll see you next time. Press the button on top. Press it. Can you put it in wide view? What does that mean? 0.5? Yeah. Wide. Hey, remember you gotta, you gotta use your outside voice. There's wide! <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to get this, uh, but I want to get this tuned you guys are gonna, they're all gonna yell at me, including you. Why? And I even, I already said it. Because I forget to not take it out of gear and I coast. Well, I'm like shaking, like I panicked. I was like, oh crap. It's okay, no, at least when you passed by me, you did it the right way. Um. Also, I asked them, but I'll just ask you. Is it bad to coast it when I know I'm not gonna put it in gear anymore until I come to a full stop? No, it's not bad. Really, the only argument is that when you stay in gear, you keep control of the car. So that if something, if like a muskrat runs across the road, you can okay. give us, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a weak argument, to be honest. 